Hey everybody, Edo here, and this is the Majority Complete Edition, which is the Majority and the Majority 2 uh, by Ninja Star Games. They sent me along this copy, and actually these are some games that were designed in Japan, which have then, uh, I think via Kickstarter, were made into this edition to go worldwide. And, and um, I had a ton of time to play the Majority in particular, because I really dug it, uh, but not as much on the Majority 2. The Majority 2 is a interesting head versus head. Majority 2 is head versus head, two-player game. Uh, the, the Majority 1 is three to four players. But in the Majority 2, it's a pretty sophisticated um, drafting or sort of passing your hand deck back and forth combat politician game. And, and, and the cards are somewhat sophisticated. Um, Emily had a little bit of a hard time getting into this and, and I found myself playing the majority more. So I didn't play the majority too enough to, to really dig into the sophistication of it. And it's sort of interesting that the two player one is such a, a step up, but um, uh, I, I'm, I'm, so I'm not going to dig into a review there because I don't think I've given it enough time. Majority one on the other hand, I'm happy to discuss and I think it's really cool. So the majority, um, the theme is the this underworld, ghostly, monstrous, politics debating thing. It's a little hard to wrap your head around, but the art's cute, and the cards are fun, and that's all that counts, right? So there are three factions, blue, yellow, and red, and each faction has a zero through ten card. So you're gonna, this is a, a drafting game, so each player is going to get dealt their hands and hand these out quickly. You could probably deal them this quickly, but hand out the hands, and then essentially what you're going to do, since it's a drafting game, is you're going to pick a card to play, and then you're going to set your hand aside, like everyone else, so that they, um, each player then passes that deck around. So you're each going to get a, t a chance at that deck um, as, as you go. But then you all flip, and in this game, there are your, the numbers, and some of the cards have special abilities that let you um, take all of one color, or switch things around, trade and, and all sorts of things, but what's nice about this game, in particular, to a lot of card drafting games, is all of the abilities are, you know, can be shown in, in, in a set of icons, right? They're basically simple. And all you're doing is creating sets of blue, red, and yellow. So I'm just going to speed this up, but I could start having my set over here, have a couple blues, and, and each player is going to be doing their own thing, and I don't have as much room on this table, but they're going to be setting up their sets, and you don't have to do every color, but you can, that kind of thing, and, and this last player. So you're going to play down until you have one card remaining, which you'll leave for the next round, and you're going to play a series of rounds to get the final score. So, uh, pretty basic, right? Pretty standard fare. So what? why do I like it? What makes it so cool? It's all in the scoring on this one. So... In, in this game, and I said it was three to four players, three players are head-to-head, -head, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, all three players against each other, where four players is teams of two. What you're doing is to score, you pick a color, uh, blue, and you're going to add up the number. So if I have uh, six plus six plus five, that's going to be uh, 11, 17, right? Uh, and then the other blue, blue guys have got 10 plus nine, so that's 19, and then I have a six, and I also have a cat over there. So... Uh, the 19 would win, and first place gets two coins. However, um, first place gets two coins, but second place gets one-fifth of the total, uh, you know, value of the winning set. What does that mean? Well, so if this was a, nine, uh, a 19 divided by five, let's just call it a 20 to save you round, but just... That would mean this player would get four. In this instance, uh, uh, 20 divided by five would be four. In this instance, I believe you round down, so you're going to get three. And, um, or is it round up? I'll double check later. But it, you, you round in one direction or the other. And so suddenly, uh, the objective of this game is not to be first. It's to be second. And that creates a very compelling card play because when you're trying to be first, you're always... You're just trying to get the highest, right? But now you've got to think of what other cards are people playing? How can you slide in? In the cooperative or two-on-two -two game, you're actually trying to get first and second uh, with your partner. Uh, and you do some card trades as well um, in the partner play. On top of that, then what happens is as you play on, you 
keep the cards on the table and you deal out more cards. And what that does, it's, it creates this escalating scoring for second place, right? As you play more cards, it's now out of 30, it's out of 40. So second place is worth more and more. And it creates this really interesting shift on play that I, I really enjoyed. So it's simple, it's fast, it's really easy to teach uh, for a card drafting game. And I think the arts, you know, theme is, you know, I think it's cute and, 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 and a little, it's a little dark, but in a cute way. So I like this game a lot. Uh, it's part of this complete set. There is the majority two in there for two players. Uh, it's definitely heavier than this game. So this is the lighter one. And um, check it out. So subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Most importantly, play some great games. Thanks. Bye.